Well, hello and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Let's hop right into the swing of the butt stuff, and we'll just do even more and more butt juju zappa. Give it a with a pudding pops. And no, okay. And we're gonna play as the hunter today because you know we left us the marine counter clockwise. Whoop de doo. I think we figured that out by now. It's a pattern. <laughs> what do the numbers mean? Um. So let's just do what we do for the first floor. Uh, we had an- Oh my god! Okay, run. This is- Why are there so many people in here? It's crowded. It's cramped. Give me some space. Personal space, please. You're inside my bubble. Um, but yeah, we had an okay run last time. We got down a, a little bit of distance, although well, we like the second floor and then we collapsed on the ground and it was probably not the best run, was it? Now, looking back on it, I I, I could, certainly could have gone better. Uh, yeah, that's 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 one way to put it. But um, hopefully we'll do better this time. We're playing as the hunter. I like the hunter. Whoa. Whoa. But we already took half hour of damage, so you know, probably not a good start. What what is a good start? Is a good start you know, when when the good start happens? Well, pff, getting good items, some passives, a good gun to start with. That's that sounds like my, my perfect Sunday. I almost said myrrh perfect, like I'm some sort of fucking Magic the Gathering merfolk. Fucking merfolk. Um, oh boy. Ooh. I am, I am, I don't know if I'm on point on my dodging skills today or really off of it. Because I am just noticing oh, ah, everything that needs to be dodged more than usual. I don't know, normally I feel like I just passively roll out of the way of shit without even thinking about it. So maybe I'm losing my mind. Maybe I'm tired, maybe I'm stressed out, it's almost it's almost finals week, I've got I've got shit on my mind. Got mind on my money, my money on mine. I'm rolling down the street, smoking endo, sipping on gin and juice. Anyway, uh, we got a backpack, I don't know what this does. The backpack grants you the use of another active item. Uh-huh. Would be fucking new, we don't have any active items for that matter, so... Pointless. That was not a good start. No, so far, not a great start. That, you know, we're putting that together. I prefer to have useful, maybe some... Damn. That was also bad damage. Oh, God, my head itches really badly right now. You have no idea. It's just, it tickles, it tickles. Oh, man, I really want to just reach my hand back there. After this room, you can wait. I can wait. We can all wait and have just... Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, boy, that's that's nice. That's nice right there. Uh, ooh, what was I talking about? How will we have a bad start? Something like that. Well, we certainly need another key, but we have the money to do so. We might actually need two keys. There's this door over here. I don't know what's up with that. Um, so yeah, we, we just need to get the get the money, get the keys, who knows, find the shop, get a chest with a good item in it. That'd be nice. Beat the Gatling Gull. Uh, cry, because we lose to the Gatling Gull. Restart, shoot ourselves in the face, and call it a day. Where is the other enemies? Hello? Oh, there you are. Mr. Rambo. Oh, ow! Damn. Okay, so what is to the left over here? This appears to be... Oh, you need access to a key to get to... I don't know what that is. I think it might be Windings Man? It could be... It could be the healing people. I, I just... I can't tell. It's some weird fucking face that's indistinguishable from all the other weird faces in this game. It's like there's no distinguishing features about them. They're just a weird off-color of yellow with some, like, eyes and a fucking smiley face. And that's about it. Oh, there's a chest here. That That's what we need the key for, but the shop is blocked off, so we'll get there eventually. We just need to loop our way around, of course. There's the boss. Okay. Key, key me, key me. Key... Key me. I need a key me. Okay. I've, I've never had a kiwi. I know I, that may sound weird, but it's just never come up. And it doesn't seem that good. But we got a free gun. That's different. But it's it's the little bomber, which just means we're shooting like fucking bowling balls explosive shit. Come on, charge it up. There we go. It's not the worst gun, honestly. It just doesn't have a whole lot of ammo. And it's really only good for clearing out some of these these more populated rooms that we already cleared out. So you know, maybe a little past its prime. Uh, let's let's clear out the last room here, and then we can go back to the shop and get whatever the hell. Wow, we missed that. Uh, 
Go back and get the key, open up the other chest, hopefully get two keys even. That'd be that'd be fantastic, but it's not gonna happen. I already know it. So many enemies in this tiny little lounge room, man. I do, I do love a good fireplace. Who doesn't, man? You just gotta get it to be winter and, and get a nice little crackling fire and be like, yeah, yeah, boy. This is how we do. Uh, okay. Whoa, no, do not shoot that in the shop. That would be, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean it. Give me the key. Give me the key. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. We unfortunately only got one key. We, there is a possibility of finding the key, of course, after we win the boss fight. That is assuming we win the boss fight. It'd be awkward if we didn't, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, probably. All right. Oh, the Molotov gun. Well, this is just a great fucking absolutely fantastic just start. Oh, my God. I love all the guns we have and the passive item we picked up. We're just on a roll. That's sarcastic, if you couldn't tell. I actually hate about everything we've gotten so far. I think <laughs> I think we'd be better off using the handgun, but fuck it. We're going to try to blow the fuck out of this dude. We're just going to walk up to his fucking iron throne and then stroke him off. Um, Alright, how much damage do you do? Not that much, but an okay amount. All the same. I honestly would probably be better off using the pistol. That's embarrassing. Uh, the Molotov doesn't do anything because he's floating, as we know. Ooh, bad damage. Alright, we, we've lost our ability to get a health upgrade twice. Uh, we're gonna, we're probably gonna die. That's, that's just sad. That's absolutely unfortunate that we're in such a shit start that we're just gonna get murdered right here. Are you ready for me to get murdered? Because it's gonna happen. Get ready for the fun. The pain, the pain train's coming. Woo, baby. The coal train runs on whole grain. Uh... Let's, let's blind there. We still have one more blind, but it's real close. He's down halfway. Can we not take one more damage? Four more years. Uh, okay, blind it. And there goes our other blind. Now it's just up to pure skill. Pure, horrible, horrible skill. Woo. He's almost down. But can he do it? Can he survive? Jeez, that was close. That was some close rolls. I'm a ninja. Ain't nobody can stop me and my sick dodges. I am the blind samurai. Uh, oh, goodness. Oh, we got him. I can't believe we lived through that fight. I don't know if that was a good thing. It might have been better just to restart and go from there. But you know what? This is what happens. And we have a different weapon that I don't know if we've had before. The SAA, Exhilarating Reload Time, fires ricochet rounds. Okay, the single action army may take some time to reload, but you'll hear no complaints from its users. Documents reclaimed from the Order of the True Gun imply that on occasion the cultist briefly attains Gunvana. Is that like Valhalla? I don't know. Gunvana Wall Chamber? I don't know. I don't know what the difference between like this gun and the other gun we've ever had, so... Whatever. Well, hopefully it'll work. It's probably better than our other godforsaken shithole weapons. What am I gonna do? Light everything on fire and then just tickle my own anus? That'll put my thumb on my butt and, and call it a day? That's every day already, but... Y you've got my weekend planned out in those in that one sentence. Uh... Is he dead? I oh my god! I think the, it's not the reload time that I'm excited about. It's the fire rate, man. Look at that shit. I just click as fast as you can. Bing, bada, boom. You might have penetrated my asshole. I didn't need to go over there, and I realized that afterwards, and then set back onto my own trap. Oh, this is going to be awkward, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Kill it. Kill it with bullets. Not fire. Fire doesn't work on iron metal alien people. Who knows? I can't confirm or deny that fact. Hell, I don't, I've don't. i never met an alien. If you have met an alien, feel free to let me know. Um, if you've ever been up to uh, a spaceship, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always here for, for good talking to. Uh, I, I can't, I don't know what the what the result of that conversation would be, but, uh, you know, it's, it's possible. Some might happen. Some probably will happen, in fact. I just don't know whether it's good or not. All right. Excuse me. Ooh, oh boy. Uh, anybody remember like that that film, Close Encounters of a Third Kind, or whatever the the one with the film that I haven't seen in like a, 20 years? 
All I remember from, I believe it's that movie. Honestly, I have no idea. It could be another movie. I just remember a family movie involving two scenes that have, for some reason, I'm bad, stuck with me. Uh, the first would be uh, some dude was making a fucking mountain out of mashed potatoes and we're like, yes, we must go there to meet the aliens. I'm like, yeah, that makes logical sense, sure. Um, then the second was like the dude had, this random kid had asthma or some shit? I don't know. Either way, I think it was that movie. I just have not seen it in a very, very, very long time, so I have no idea what it is. Uh, get him. But yeah, seemed like a good movie at the time. But I don't know. We'll find out someday. If it ever comes onto Netflix, just shows up out of fucking nowhere. Oh, but most movies do that. The Sandlot showed up onto Netflix, that was nifty. The Truman Show showed up on Netflix. Things just gotta show up and then you're like, yeah man, I'll watch that. Oh, but the fun times I have browsing the loads of shit on Netflix too. Mm. Oh, the stories if anybody watched my American Truck Simulator videos. <laughs> oh man, but how can it be rape if it's your wife, am I right? <laughs> oh, good times. Okay. Just circle around. Ooh, we're just since we restarted, you know. At least this time we can hope for a better start, even though we just took another half heart of damage. It was just a fucking disaster run recently. I am I'm having a bad bad time, bad results. And with this is a results oriented company, you feel me? We care about that profit. If we ain't making that profit, then what you doing at this company? You feel me? We ain't got room for slacking. I gotta be bringing my weight. I'm not up to my gungeon quota. Oh boy. Woo! That shot an explosion. Okay, we got it. Oh, I don't know what I got hit by. I wasn't paying attention enough. There's a scope. There's a key. We don't have money for the key. We probably won't get the scope. Ooh, excuse me. I'm just gonna save up for the key. Like usual. Oh, usual. Oh, sure. Oh, get away from the bombs. Uh, you said she was the bomb? Uh, I'm sorry, that's a line from the classic movie Rush Hour 2, starring Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan, back again in, I believe, 2001. Ah, oh, man, I'm, I'm excited if they ever come out with a Rush Hour 4. That'd be absolutely fantastic. I've heard talk of it, and it's a, it has a note its own IMDb page now, so it's possible. Anything's possible. Maybe I'm the director of the Rush Hour 4 series. It's be probably because I've watched Rush Hour 1 and 2 and 3 so much that I just have it entirely memorized. That's not true. Not quite. Uh, <laughs> we got a ammo lit thing. The Lodestone Amulet. Blank knockback up. We just know what that does. Is that when we have use or blank or whatever, then people get pushed back further like I am some sort of magician. I am not a magician. I do not know how to do a magic trick. I was so jealous of people who know how to do magic tricks. Like, I'd just love to learn, like, basic card tricks or something. That seems like a fun time, right? I'm not gonna mind freak anybody. I'm no Chris Angel. It's just, like, some some sort of little sleight of hand trick. Sounds like a good time. Thanks for the other key, dog. Uh, but yeah, just, just like... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not here to do fucking street magic and, like, use silly camera tricks to twiddle my own thumbs again. Put it on my butt, you know, standard weekend plans. You know, I'm just I'm just here to run into Pidgeys, apparently. Ugh, oh, what a bad, bad series of runs it has been today. I am, I don't know why I'm so bad. There we go. Hopefully we can live past the first floor, though. If that, if that does not happen, then I'm going to be embarrassed for you, me, and everyone we know. Or, or me, myself, and Irene. Lots of possibilities there. Um... You better remember me, me, myself, and Irene. Yeah, it's a, the the classic Jim Carrey film. Yeah, yeah, I do, I do. Specifically for for the fact that I watched it, uh, you know, when I wasn't quite uh, of age to watch it, and then and then didn't pick up on some hidden signals there. And by hidden signals, I mean like blatant, obvious jokes that I was just too young to to comprehend because I'm a fool. I know I'm not gonna mention the specific scenes, but it was it was embarrassing. After I realized later what the hell was going on, I'm like, oh, oh. But that's most of my life. Uh, we've seemed to have gotten every room here. I'm gonna quickly buy said key for next floor. All right, there we go. We'll go fight the boss with our shit little weapons. Cause once again, we got two fucking garbage pieces of shit. We have the amulet, which we are probably 
very rarely going to use and won't do anything because they're bosses and I don't think they get knocked back. And then we also got the stupid little flame gun that is absolutely trash. So, back to using the fucking handgun again. Love it. Every time. You know, I just, you gotta go back to standard. It's pretty much like this floor was inconsequential in the long run. We just sort of gotta play it by, by the skill, by ear, by nose? By lips? I don't know. Whatever, insert body part here. By, by ankle. <laughs> by my ankle. Uh, by Gobthur's hammer? I don't remember the name of it. Stuff. Oh god, get away from me. Alright, I'm just gonna knock those people back, see them in hell. After I get murdered real quick here. I wish the dog could attack, man. That would make my life so much easier. If the dog could just, like, fight anything. But I took damage there for the first time in this fight, so there's there's two. We won't be getting our our free free health upgrade. We might, in fact, just be murdered here. Because uh, we only have half a heart, and he's pissed off. And I am not doing enough damage to get down this, this fight fast enough. Ooh, that was that was a close call. That was puckered. We all are puckered today. Uh, get him. Finish him off. Doot, 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 A doot. Whoop. You know what? I think it might be just time to call it because our, our runs have been going so poorly that it's just been a disaster, hasn't it? Oh, well. After a few good runs over the last week, it's time to... Drop them all down the pit and, and think about our, our life and our choices that we've made to this point. So thank you for watching this episode of Enter the Gungeon, and I will see you next time.